Hi everybody, just want to show you a really cool little tool that you can use to have an online gamepad for your tutorial videos. I mean, I'm using Armour Forge for an example, but it obviously could be any game uh, at all. And that is 3D Controller Overlay on Steam. And I'll put a link in the description below this video. And I'm also going to show you what to do if the overlay isn't see-through. Okay, so basically you launch it once you've down paid for it and downloaded it and it will fire up like this. Um, I'll tell you what, let's get rid of that one. So you probably have something like that, it would just say new, and you can say new, and then the controller will pop up, and you can say, actually, no, I don't want that one. I want a um, Xbox Series S, Xbox One. There we go, there it is. We want that, and then if we go back to armor, oh, sorry, did that wrong. Then we go window, always on top, like that. And then it's kind of kind of there, but that's not very pretty, is it? It's not very pretty at all. So if we go back to the settings, um, and we unclick window elements, and we click on drag to move, so we can move it around to wherever we want. But what's really important here is down here. See, it says background color. See the alpha channel. He should really have put a opacity there, because all you do is you click on it and just drag it down, and there we go. And now it is see through, which is really good. We can also scroll to resize so we can make it a bit bigger then undo that now the thing to remember though is that oh, let me pick up my controller see it's kind of doing all the stuff and you can go in and you can change things so that um it all looks uh, a little bit better in fact one of the ones you'll want to use thinking about it is you'll want to have on the controller you want to have pop-up triggers pop-up does it have paddles no pop-up bumpers that way when you're doing the triggers People can see them. I think that's quite important there, isn't it? So they can see the various things. Um, but one thing I would say is that although the background is opaque now, the box is still there. So, for example, if, if you're playing a game and I need to click in here with my mouse, it will actually be clicking on the, the window for the controller. So you need to remember, let's say that was over there, you see. Say I wanted to click on respawn there. It's not going to do it because it's clicking on the, the controller. I would have to move this over here, and then actually let's use con continue as an example. So don't, so I can't continue. But if I move that back over there, now I can press continue, and we're and we're kind of back in, and then we are using the controller. So a really useful tool. I'm going to use this an awful lot on my um, tutorials because you know a picture paints a thousand words, and when I'm going. Yeah, uh, it's up on the uh, right stick, I mean left stick, um, and then you press the right top button, bumper, and people are like, well, what's that then? Oh, it's R3, or, and things like that. And people people don't really know where this is very, very obvious what you are doing. So very, very useful indeed. So there we go. 3D controller overlay on Steam. Um, I think it's free. It might even be free. Is it free? I don't think I paid any money for it. It may well even be free. But there we go. Drop the guy some bucks because it's very good indeed. Anyway, that's enough from, enough from me. Hopefully this has been useful. If it has been, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.